Hey guys, I'm back with another review. I just got my hair cut. Um, yeah, fun fact, fun stuff that's going on with me. Today's magic in the air. So yeah, like I feel like the green tree is kind of like distorting this. Let's like raise the brightness so much so you can see the light blueness color of it. It's like the light, light blue. Let's make that not as bright now. Um, so yeah, so this scent came out in 2016. The top notes are persimmon, white iris, pear blossom, and water lily. The middle notes are almond blossom, coconut nectar, and jasmine. And the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So let's go ahead and spray. I haven't sprayed this in at least a year. Let's see, where am I gonna spray this? Okay, I guess here. Hmm. Okay. I remember this one so vividly because nothing really smells like it. It's like, it has a lot of familiarity to it where it's like, I feel like I've smelled a lot of the stuff that makes up this scent, but not this whole scent together. They kind of mix a lot of stuff. I mean, like we've kind of smelled this al almond blossom before in some sense. We've kind of smelled this white lily before in some sense. We've kind of smelled this pear blossom, maybe even this jasmine, even the vanilla. I feel like we've kind of smelled these in different scents before, but never all together in one scent. And you guys know how I feel about throwing random stuff together to make a scent. I'm not for it usually. I usually like a more cohesive um, scent thought, but this one's just kind of nice. It's just kind of like, eh, it's not one of my top, top favorites, but I think it's nice. Let's look at the, how blue the day is. Isn't that so blue? I'm gonna go right back outside after this. I need to make an appointment, okay. Okay, you get a lot of like whipped vanilla. Um, I feel like one of the reviews said whipped vanilla specifically. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if it's whipped vanilla, even though it just says vanilla musk on, like, cause I, they don't say the scent notes back in the day. In 2016, they didn't say them. Um, but yeah, you can actually get this scent coming out soon. Although last year, or maybe it was the year before, I can't remember, I smelled it and it did not smell the same as this original bottle, which, usually happens. Sometimes they smell better, but as of, as of either last year or the year before, it did not smell the same. But this one smells pretty nice. It's just, it's like some like, it smells like kind of like whipped cream and jasmine and, and some pear blossom and some almond blossom. It's, it's just kind of all over the place. Like, and you get a little bit of the coconut nectar. That's the same kind of coconut smell you smell from Bath and Body Works specifically. Um, Oh my gosh, there's like a coconut candle from like, uh, whatchamacallit, from Henry Sl Harry Slatkin's collection. I think it's called Coconut Birch. And oh my gosh, it is so good. It's like this candle. They have so many good ones right now, like Home Goods and like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. There's like one that's like Cucumber Mint, which is so good. Um, they had one that's like a Sunday morning cereal or something like that. They have one that's like Geranium that's really good. They have another coconut one that's pretty good. Honestly, like the homework candles are so good. I just don't want four wicks because it's just gonna burn really fast and they're kind of expensive. So I wish they had more of like the single wick ones at these stores. But um, yeah, I don't really buy candles because I don't like storing them because I don't like the off gassing of the scents. Like you're always smelling them, um, which is another reason why I don't really burn scents a lot is because I don't want to like just breathing in that stuff. I don't, I don't know. I know it's ironic because I'm making like reviews of this but like I've really cut back. Like I don't use wallflowers anymore. I really never use like candles. I never use lotions or body creams. I use like coconut oil, shea butter, or essential oils, like all the natural stuff um, for all the other stuff. But like perfume's kind of like my special thing I splurge on. But yeah, so magic in the air. Let's smell it again. It's just kind of like light and whipped. And I just, I have some memories now attached to the scent. But honestly, like, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this one in my collection for too long. Don't let it hear me say that. Um, I mean, I wish I knew someone who I could, like, kind of sell these to who would actually pay, like, like, I just want, like, eight bucks. I want eight dollars, eight to ten dollars for this. I mean, well, I guess it's kind of used a little bit. I want eight dollars. I want eight dollars for this scent that probably has at least six ounces left, six and a half ounces left of um, these eight ounce bottles, like, of the original formula, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. Um, 
Sorry, I thought I heard a noise. Okay, so yeah, I mean, like, it's great. It's like, I feel like I should raise the brightness a tiny bit. Um, yeah, I'm just, I love having the sun. I know it Fs up the whole, like, video experience, but I just love it. I like seeing the blue sky in there. Let's look at it one more time. So, oh my gosh, so blue, you guys. It is literally like that. Like, we've had such a, like, long time of, um, of like rain and doomy, gloomy weather that it's so nice to have this. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Will I be getting it again? Probably not. Um, actually, no, I won't. I won't buy this one again. Um, I mean, it's just nice. It is kind of generic because they did what Gingham Fresh did, which is like this plus this plus this plus this plus this. And it's just kind of, it's a nice smelling scent, but it just isn't very memorable in my opinion. So, um, unless you haven't really smelled scents before and then you would remember it because you'd be like, oh, that one smell that smelled pretty nice. But if you've smelled a lot of scents, this doesn't really compare to so many like leaves, midnight pomegranate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like there's just so many. Um, yeah, like, so unfortunately I probably won't keep this one around too much longer, but it is what it is and I'm cool with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm going to be doing another one tomorrow. I can't remember which one it is, but I've got Night Slip from Victoria's Secret, which I really like. I was unsure about it at first, but I really like it now. I have, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? I've got Twilight Woods and Bear from Victoria's Secret. So I'm excited to show you guys those coming up. I will see y'all around. Bye guys.